Welcome to my three day juice detox slash cleanse. long three days. I'm doing a three day juice detox slash cleanse. I'm really aiming to do a gut reset pretty much. I've been eating pretty bad lately. I've been eating a lot of carbs, a lot of sugars, a lot of just heavy foods and I've been snacking a lot and it's kind of gotten to the point where I'm just like I don't even want to eat anymore because everything was just making me feel horrible and drowsy and just heavy. I came off the pill about eight months ago now and obviously when you go off the pill all your hormones change, everything changes so Ever since then, I've gotten a lot of acne and my skin has been breaking out so much. Like my, my, my skin has never been this bad. I know that acne generally stems from gut issues or hormone imbalances. I don't want this video to be taken as medical advice at all. This is all just as off, this is all just my own opinions or my own research and all the things that I've found that are working for me and things that I'm trying at the moment. None of this is professional advice. So I would encourage you to go do your own research and find what works best for you. My rules for this detox that I set for myself was I'm going to have a juice at breakfast, lunch and dinner and I'll have lots of water in between and I can have some green teas as well. That was it. So that is all I've eaten the past three days. I will talk a little bit at the end of this video about what I would do differently and what I would recommend because there's definitely things that I would do differently next time if I do this again in my life. The juicer I brought was the Breville Juice Fountain Max Juicer. He actually upsold us from the other juicer we wanted. The reason we got this one is because it has a little container on the side where the juice flicks out all of the remains of the food. I'm not explaining this very well but yeah, all of the excess food comes out of the side and the one we were originally going to buy, you had to like empty it out every so often in between juices. The three juices that I made were all my own recipes. I just mixed together fruits that I thought would taste good and let me tell you, they tasted amazing. I even made a beetroot juice and that tasted phenomenal. So I'll put the recipes on the screen for the three different juices. Had the orange, the green, and beetroot juice. Don't knock it until you try it. It was phenomenal. Day one, it was a huge challenge. This is probably one of the biggest challenges I've ever done, but day one was so hard. Because of my work environment, there's always food around. There's always treats and things to snack on. So it was so hard having to say no to so many things and fighting the urges to eat food. I found that I didn't actually... I wasn't actually hungry i was just thinking about food a lot this tastes so good it's celery juice but i put a bit of apple and cucumber in it and i put a bit of ginger as well it just tastes so fresh and so yummy i'm not really feeling very hungry at the moment but i am feeling like peckish like i noticed that i eat a lot when i'm bored or when i'm just sitting down like doing stuff at a desk i like to snack and that's what i'm noticing right now like all morning all i've wanted to do is pick up I'll just snack on some food. So I'm realizing how much food I'm actually eating when I'm not really hungry. It's just because it's there or because I'm bored. And I think I was missing the flavors of other foods. So that's what my cravings were coming from. I also became aware of how much I actually snack and how much food I eat just because I'm bored or, you know, just mindless eating, you know, eating while you're distracted doing something else. I do that a lot, which is something I'm going to change. I had so much energy I lately I've been so tired like I wake up after like a 10 hour sleep and I'm still tired and I'm never like that but I've had so much energy the past few days weirdly enough and I'm feeling so fresh and so light surprisingly for beetroot this tastes really good I think it's because I have the lemon and apples mixed with it it's like a lot sweeter anyway we're on our third drink of the day all I've drank today is water and green tea I had two green teas and I've had about a liter and a half of water. Tonight is gonna be the hardest because I always snack for nighttime. I usually eat my dinner and then I always have an after dinner snack. So that's gonna be the hardest thing to try and fight. I ended up going to bed early on Monday night because I just wanted, just didn't wanna keep thinking about food. So I thought, go to sleep and I'll stop thinking about food. Tuesday I woke up, felt pretty energized. I felt really good, refreshed. I skipped lunch, which was not a good idea. Um, I skipped lunch because I just wanted to get a bunch of things done and yeah, should not have done that because by the end of the day, I was moving around a lot on Tuesday. I was 
like moving i was doing a lot of physical work and walking a lot so obviously my body was using up a lot of energy by the end of the day i just finally sat down and i was like i just didn't want to function you know when you're on the come down after having a bunch of caffeine that's how I felt. I felt so tired and so drained. My body was so exhausted. It started to get a little bit easier to say no to these food cravings. The one thing that was holding me accountable this whole entire time was filming this video, to be honest. But if you are struggling with giving in to going and eating food, I highly recommend just keeping yourself occupied, keeping yourself busy. Also reminding yourself of why you're doing this. By the third day, it was a lot easier to say no to a lot of foods and push through. Obviously, I still did have a lot of cravings. I still did want to eat a lot of food and snack and whatnot. It got a little bit easier by the third day and I was feeling so good, feeling so energized and so light and fresh. Like My body just feels so good. The things I would do differently on this juice detox is making more juices. I only made enough for breakfast, lunch and dinner each day and even then i still made a tiny little glass each day so i would just make so much juice because it's all you're eating so having a good good like glass would be way better than what i was drinking make sure you drink a lot of water during this process it's going to help detox and flush everything out and i recommend just keeping yourself busy do it on days where you are going to be able to keep yourself busy if you're just sitting around home it's going to make it really hard to stop thinking about food if three days does seem very overwhelming, I would even start with just a one day juice cleanse. Just start off nice and easy. I really should have done that to get a taste of what this is all about. And then slowly work your way up to doing two days and then maybe do three days. And if you wanted to do more, go for it. But I love my food to do more than three days. I did notice at the end of the three days, my bloating had gone down a lot. My stomach was so flat. Usually I'm just like a bloated basketball in there and it's just not very comfortable. At the end of any juice detox, the first meal you have back, I would recommend having something that is nutritional, maybe a little bit light and easy on your stomach. Like something like I had a miso soup as my first meal back. You could even have like a pumpkin soup or just a soup that's easy to digest just to ease your stomach back into food again. I wouldn't go and eat sugar as my first thing back because your stomach has been empty for so long. You want to fill it up with some nutrients and good foods to refill your body. I know that this is not going to clear up my acne, sort all my problems out in three days. This is just the start of my journey just to reset my gut so that I can start making better health and lifestyle choices moving forward so i just wanted to clarify on that well i think that's all for this video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye